Whoa, whoa, did you guys feel that? Did you guys feel the magnitude of that earthquake that just happened when James Charles just dropped the mic? Damn. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, Welcome. What I try to do is take a look at the YouTube community, pop culture, and see what lessons we can learn from them by taking this mess and turning it into a message. And something that I'm very passionate about is mental health, and something else I'm very passionate about is how cancel culture and mob mentality is absolutely brutal in today's society. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So when this whole James Charles situation started going, I remember like, those of you who have been loyal rewired soldiers and following my channel, you've seen that I've made a lot of videos defending James Charles to an extent, not all of his actions, but to an extent, I've been calling out Jeffree Star and his hypocrisy. And one of my friends DM'd me and he's like, whoa, Chris, I think that you're on the wrong side of this thing. And I'm like, hey, when it comes to the mob mentality, I might be, but, a couple months ago, I was the recent victim of mob mentality and cancel culture. I screwed up as well, I made my mistakes, but I've been so passionate about defending James Charles because this whole thing was blown out of proportion and with everything James Charles just shared, I was on the right side of this thing. All right, like James Charles, like my beautiful girlfriend Tristan, she's been out running errands all day. She hasn't been caught up to speed. But basically what I told her, I was like, James Charles, like it was like James Charles just went out and got audited and came back with all of the receipts and passed with flying colors. So in this video, not only am I gonna share my opinion on what's happening right now, but I want you guys to all take a look at how you're acting, how you're behaving, what you're tweeting out, the comments that you're leaving, the way that you're unsubscribing from people, all these things without having all of the facts or sides of the story, okay? Because it's crazy. Right now, Tati Westbrook and Jeffree Star are actively losing subscribers while James Charles is. And I said this on Twitter, like watching all of this, it, it reminds me of like kids soccer where everybody's just running after the ball. They're just running out of the ball. It's complete chaos, right? Like everybody needs to chill out when it comes to these situations. And what we're seeing over and over, and I'll, I will keep covering the beauty community because the beauty community is such a prime example of, of how friendships go wrong. And I know so many of you watch all this stuff and all the drama that happens because this happens in your own friends groups, okay? So first, let's talk about the Tati Westbrook situation. Like, oh my God. Like, for this woman to be 20 years James Sr. and now with James Charles coming out with all of the information and the receipts on this, like I cannot believe it. Like Tati Westbrook really let her emotions get the best of her. Like James Charles messaged her before he released it. And, I, and you guys, like I made a video talking about Hamlin's, Hamlin's razor, right? Hamlin's, Hamlin's razor says, do not attribute to malice, which could easily be attributed to like stupidity or ignorance, all right? James Charles trying to go to Coachella the second week weekend, getting bum rushed by fans. He was in a tight spot. He ended up taking a deal with Sugar Bear Hair. He, out of respect for Tati, he tried to reach out to her. But Tati Westbrook went on her whole Instagram live saying how hurt she was by this whole thing and everything like that. And James also tried to handle all this stuff behind the scenes, but Tati Westbrook already opened up the door to this thing and then made her a whole bi sister video. And it's so, it's so sad to me too, because like James Charles, James Charles is gonna have more information than any of us, but he was able to come out, come out and show how many times he actually promoted Tati's product. He did, he had proof of that. And like at this point, like Tati Westbrook, really needs to assess her own situation. And it's sad to me too, because like I mentioned before, like there's a reason, there's a reason people weren't subscribed to Tati. And now everybody subscribed to her just because she quote unquote exposed somebody, which we're now uh, finding out a lot of it was factually incorrect. 
Like how many other YouTubers are you subscribing to just because they expose somebody without knowing the truth, without being an independent thinker? What I hope you guys take away from this situation is how to be an independent thinker. Group think is going to be the death of humanity, I swear to God. Like, we get so caught up in the drama and the cancel culture and everything that we don't take a step back. Like, all these guys, like Gage and, and that, that waiter Sam trying to cash in on this situation and create this whole narrative about James Charles. Like I've mentioned dozens of times in the past, Everything that happened was consensual. Everything that happened was consensual. And James Charles did an epic job owning up to the fact that he, he's much more comfortable with his sexuality and flirting with people and hitting on people and he's just hit up people in their DMs and everything like that. And he recognized that maybe he needs to change that. Like after my own controversy, I had to learn a lot of valuable lessons. I, have to, I had to learn uh, about maintaining relationships with people that I thought I knew that I don't really know. Like when my controversy first started, somebody left a comment. I, I, I'll try to put it on the screen if I can find it. But somebody left a comment and said, Chris, you seem like the type of guy where somebody says hi to you and you, you think that you're best friends. And I'm like, yeah, that is like, that is a fault of mine. Like I am, I, I, I just, I, I expect the best out of people and, and like, I don't know. Right? Like, I need to be a little bit more guarded. And even with like seven years sober almost, it's still something that I'm trying to find the balance with because I went from having major trust issues and having huge walls up with everybody to just taking down all of my walls. So I personally need to find that balance and that happy medium. Now, moving on to Jeffree Star. Moving on to Jeffree Star, like, oh my God. This guy, this guy, and I hate, I hate what Jeffree Star is doing and has done and everything. Like, okay, first let's address the fact that he called out James Charles' little brother. I don't know how old James Charles' little brother is, but if James Charles is 19 years old, his brother's younger than that. And for Jeffree Star, somebody with millions of followers to call out a kid like that, and now we're seeing now we're seeing that the tweet that Jeffree Star quote tweeted had nothing to do with the drama uh, or the, the beauty guru situation. Like, how disgusting is that? Like, everybody wants to paint this picture like Jeffree Star has learned and he's grown. The hell he has. Jeffree Star still has so many anger issues and it is blatantly clear. It is blatantly clear. Now, while he's improved, He's improved a bit. He's not running around on the streets calling people N-bombs and cussing out people, threatening to fight him. So good for him. It's progress, not perfection. But Jeffree Star clearly has anger issues. And like, I know you guys don't like me commenting on things like this, but Jeffree Star probably needs to go through some intensive therapy to work some things out. And that's not even a diss at Jeffree Star. I believe that everybody needs therapy. I need therapy, you need therapy. If you're alive and breathing, you probably need therapy. And Jeffree Star has the money to get therapy to work on his damn anger issues. But then, the, 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 it, the, text messages that James showed of Jeffree Star just attacking him and then Jeffree Star threatening him to bring people on camera to expose James Charles is absolutely disgusting. But the, the sick and twisted game that Jeffree Star is playing right now, which, oh, Oh, there's more to this story. There's more, more to this story. I'm telling you right now, in Jeffrey, unless Jeffree Star comes out with video evidence of James Charles doing something illegal, Jeffree Star needs to back up and apologize. And I hate how Jeffree Star said like, oh, his, you know, his partner, Nate, he, he uh, respects his opinion on everything, and, you know, whatever. Like, there's something called loyal to a fault, okay? like. <laughs> so Tristan and I are going to see a comedy show that um, and we're going to go see Tom Segura. Uh, love that dude. We bought tickets months ago, months and months and months ago. And I, I misread the time and I was like, oh, it doesn't start until this time, but it starts. And then 
she told me, she's like, hey, you were wrong. It starts at this time. Like, I was, I was telling Tristan jokingly, I'm like, yeah, when your partner not trusting you turns into a good thing, right? Like, she, she, it was a good thing that she questioned me in that situation because I screw up. So Jeffree Star, is it possible that your boy Nate might be wrong about James Charles? Is that even a possibility? Or is the word of Nate synonymous with the word of God? You know what I mean? All of us screw up. Like to be in a relationship and think that your partner can do no wrong, like we're all human. We're all gonna mess up. The last thing I wanna say is I really hope I really hope James Charles, I hope everybody in the beauty community takes a look at this situation because this is something that is never gonna stop. It's never going to stop. Like for any up and coming beauty influencers out there, like really take a look at these situations that happened. Last year it happened with Manny MUA and Laura Lee and somehow Jeffree Star's involved in every single situation, but now what's happening with James Charles, like. If you're up and coming in the beauty guru industry, what I would recommend, my personal suggestion, and James Charles as well, is find friends and support group outside of that uh, industry, outside of that niche, right? Find mentors outside of that niche because the beauty community is absolutely brutal. It's absolutely ruthless. This is something that hasn't changed. People keep talking about growing and changing. Jeffree Star being like the, the god of the beauty community and everybody sucking up to him until he just comes and stabs them directly in the back. Like if you are an up and coming beauty influencer, you really need to look at this stuff. You really need to ask yourself, do I wanna be associated with people who would do that to somebody? Like I mentioned this in my last video, like I, I can only imagine the hurt that James Charles is going through. And I am just so glad that he is being vindicated right now for everybody who has wronged him. Like James Charles has screwed up. James Charles has made mistakes. But for people like Tati Westbrook and Jeffree Star with their platform to create this narrative about James Charles is absolutely disgusting especially when they're older than him, he looked up to them as mentors, it makes me sick to my core, all right? So I thought that all of this was winding down and this story was coming to a close, but <sighs> seems like y'all need to buckle up because this thing just got started. But again, my videos are for all of you. I want you to take a look at your own experience, see how you're interacting, see how, how mob mentality and cancel culture is affecting you and what you think, all right? And think about the real people that it's affecting. Like James Charles talked about how he got into a very dark headspace. Like I, I received hate at a much smaller scale. All right, like I think the biggest videos about me had hundreds of thousands of views of people just slandering me and creating narratives about me. So to, to think about James Charles, especially he's younger than me, like I was able to get through my situation because I've been through a lot worse. I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, right? Like I almost died, okay? I'm 33 years old now, like I've been through a lot worse. All right, but for James Charles, for this to be his first experience, like, man, I was telling Tristan, I'm like, I almost wanna just go out and buy, buy myself a VIP ticket to the Sisters Tour and just like ask him, like, hey James, excuse me, um, how's it feel to be such a badass? All right, so I'm so glad that James Charles is being vindicated and I hope everybody learns a lesson from this situation, all right? But I've been talking too long. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get access to our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits like getting your name in the credits, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.